Hello, everyone. Hope you are well on this Tuesday night. Several things I'm going to cover in this video. What will it look like a year from now? What will the United States, and you could lump Canada in there as well, what will it look like here just a year from now? What do you think about that? Imagine that. Israel, you might have heard about this in case you missed it. Israel has attacked Persia. I call it Persia. We know it's Iran, but I just like calling it Persia better. That's just me. So we know what it is. It was a very violent Easter weekend in the United States as well. Now, some breaking news. There's been an earthquake near Taiwan. I'm going to go into that for a second. Also, I have a very good verse, a passage that I will share that will definitely resonate strongly with you regarding things that are going on, especially over the last week or two. Okay. First, the breaking news, a strong earthquake just happened here not long ago. Uh, this has been breaking news this evening near Taiwan or off the coast of Taiwan, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake. There are tsunami alert warnings out for not just Taiwan, but Okinawa, Japan, and they haven't said it for sure, but they're looking at maybe having an alert for the west coast of Alaska as well. So this is an interesting uh, place where this took uh, this earthquake took place right off the coast of Taiwan, just considering current events. Now, I'm not saying that for sure we don't have proof that this is not a natural event, you know. However, it does make you think about it. it. does make you think about it just a minute, right? We'll keep our eyes on this, so see how this turns out. Prayers for that area, those folks affected. I don't have to tell you, and, I, and I'm not the only one saying this on, on uh, YouTube, I'm sure, is that we are, we are in an epic, epic battle, spiritual battle for souls. And I believe most of you out there that are listening right now understand this. Uh, if you're not, if you don't know, or you haven't thought about it, give us some thought. Do some praying about it because we are. That's the truth. We are in a huge battle and it has amped up and it will continue to amp up. Where is this leading to? We don't know. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. You got things going on in Israel. The Middle East is huge right now. We've got. Um, some crime. We've got some crime waves going on that are attacking Christianity big time right now. We had the thing Sunday with the the the, uh, the president announcement for on Easter Sunday. We know about that, of course. Also happened some other things happened on Easter Sunday. You may have heard about this. Hundreds of Bibles were set afire in a trailer in Tennessee. I forget the name of the town, but this was uh, Greg Locke's, the pastor, Pastor Greg Locke's church. Uh, Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, Sunday. A trailer full of Bibles were just set on fire. Yeah, Easter Sunday. How about that? Then we know about the proclamation that was also made from the White House. That happened. Also, Nashville. What happened to Nashville? Good Lord. Some guy just walks into a coffee shop. Salem. This is in the Salem town area. And just opens fire. Just starts shooting. One dead, seven wounded. I mean, imagine, you know, it's a Sunday morning. You're hanging out in your coffee shop. I guess interrupted this way. That's America. It can happen in any town. Not just New York. Not just in San Francisco. And this was in Nashville. Chicago. We know what that's like. Well, we've heard. We've been hearing about it. A man was shot nine times while trying to pump his gasoline. Y'all, man's just trying to put gasoline in his vehicle. Gets shot nine times. 
That sounds like a mafia hit or something to me. Maybe I've watched too many Godfather movies. I don't know. A violent Easter weekend for sure. Just in Chicago alone, uh, over the weekend, seven dead, 21 shootings, 33 victims. Unreal. And some people have the gall to tell me that crime is down in the United States. And so you believe statistics from the government? For real? Tell me that you feel safer walking down the street of a major American city. Do you feel safer? Would you feel safer walking down the street of a major American city now as opposed to, what, just a few years ago? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. And not even just the major American cities. Maybe just even just regular, like, medium-sized cities. Or even just in a rural area. We know better. We know better. They can do a lot with these statistics. Statistics. I could go on and on about that, but I'm not. Saturday, we were running some errands this past Saturday. Uh, just hitting some stores, trying to uh, top off some preps. And I can tell you, we uh, we definitely saw some newcomers. They're calling them newcomers now. That's kind of cute name, but we know what it is. You know, we know what it is. But we definitely witnessed them for sure in Georgia and North Georgia. There was an article came out United States cities where uh, they've been flying hundreds of thousands of newcomers into different cities. There was a list of them. Miami topped the list. And I saw another report that said that three over 300,000 newcomers have been flown into Florida alone. Miami looks like a big destination. Houston, Texas, Los Angeles, Boston, San Francisco, Atlanta, of course. Baltimore and Chicago rounds out that list. Denver, the Denver mayor, if you, in case you missed it, a lot of these stories just aren't reported, but the Denver mayor is begging the newcomers to leave now, to go to Chicago, go to New York. We're closing the shelters. We can't support you any longer. Please leave. Go somewhere else. Well, you wanted to be a, what do they call it, a sanctuary city. So what's the deal now, man? You must leave, he said, or you will suffer. We can no longer support you. Go to New York or Chicago. They can give you more. They can give you long-term shelter, so he said. And then they offer, they're offering them free bus tickets to go just to get out in Denver. I know some of you that watch this channel live in that area and y'all been, I know I hear from some of y'all sometimes in email. It's probably eating up their resources, their money, their health care, their hospital systems. They won't be the only one that does it too. Think about what this country is going to look like a year from now, y'all. Think about it. I mean, really, even if there is a change in November, between now and then, if this just continues on a pace that we are seeing, that's a good bit of chunk of time. What's it going to look like? What's what's um, what's the major cities going to look like? Even not even the major cities, just your town, USA. A year from now, even six months from now, even three months from now, but a year out, it's a little scary to think about it. If you tell you the truth. Uh, and, and I'll, you know, all I can say is prepare the best you can. I'm hearing from some of you in email and there's some scary stuff. There's some things that, that up and close up, per, uh, up close personal, uh, interactions, let's say that are going on. It's not good. It's not good. I'm going to hit on this story, too. I don't want to leave this out. Uh, Israel attacked Persia, or Iran, as we know it nowadays. I don't know. Um, but they bombed the embassy, the Iranian embassy in Syria. This happened yesterday, actually. Killed seven people, 
three of them are said to be top advisors or generals. One was a top general in the Persian army. Huh? This is a major escalation now. This is a major escalation because an embassy and its grounds are considered part of their territory, their country. So it's the, a lot of people liken it to just actually carrying out an attack within on Persian soil. Even though this was located in Syria, it was at their embassy. They knocked off some generals, top generals there. So this is a major is a major escalation, um, to say the least. Uh, this because this is something that could truly spark a wider regional war, if not WW3. We have the ingredients for both of those all mixed together. Just hasn't totally lit up yet. But this is something we really need to keep an eye on because it will absolutely impact us right here on this soil. So I'm just kind of letting you know, this is hard to find. This this new story, believe it or not, it's kind of hard to find unless you just happen to get lucky and hear about it. I had to, I had to actually search for it. That's it's, it's just unreal. But it's out there. I think the United States is very vulnerable right now. Our military is nothing what it used to be in the 90s, especially in the mid-late 90s, you know, during the first Gulf War. I mean, think about it. The first Gulf War, when we ejected Iraq out of Kuwait, we, you know, the United States, they leave it, the United States military basically mobilized and dumped like five, like something like crazy number, like 500,000 troops into that region. I mean, I, that's really, that's really something if you think about it. I just absolutely wiped the sand for these people. I mean, just unreal. It was like over in a hundred hours. I mean, Iraq was like the, what, the, the fourth, fifth largest army. I can't remember exactly, largest army in the world. Now, granted, they had outdated old Soviet equipment and some tanks that didn't have near the range that our, uh, that our tanks have the um, trying to think of the name of our tanks now the Abrams the Abrams tanks, but uh, yeah it was over <laughs> pretty quick. We have nothing like that. I think our active duty is what like I don't even know if it's five hundred thousand right now. So we're nothing like we used to be. I mean that's 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 difficult, but we have very weak leadership at the top. Let's look at it right now, especially. Something to keep watch on, for sure. If I'm an adversary of the United States, if I'm if I'm an enemy uh, high up in the chain, in the food chain, I'm thinking it's a pretty good time to make a move if we're going to do it. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just looking at this, trying to look at this objectively. Share your thoughts. What is it going to look like a year from now? What's it going to look like where you live? Hopefully not too much different, but I, I I have some concerns. I have big, well, a lot of concerns, actually. Let me go to that passage. It is a power-packed one. It's amazing how passages from the Bible can just jump off the page at you and just kind of hit you right there regarding current events you know ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says for our struggle is not against the flesh and blood but against rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms amen there's a lot of that happening around you know and there's there's a like i said opening up this video we are in an epic spiritual battle right now and that is just the truth of the matter we need to put on the armor of god every time we go out we can also love others we can also uh treat others as they we want to be treated however at the same time we have to be shrewd in a way not not in a belligerent way but very on guard very uh 
uh, ready for anything to happen. We have to be prepared. That's what we need to be doing. Okay, so we can share faith. We can be the example. We can be an example of the light of Jesus. But at the same time, we must be very uh, discerning. Very, very much so. That's about the best way I can describe it, at least at this moment. Share your thoughts on that. But there's a whole lot of people out there that are just so, so deceived and so just, I just, it's, it's just, it's out there in the open too. It's not hiding in the shadows. It's out there in the open. And it's really something. I mean, think about just a few years ago. I was thinking about this a while ago. Would you ever conceive, would you have ever thought that we would be even talking about debating, not really debating, but talking about what's the difference between a male and a female? How did those lines get blurred? Would you even thought about that a few years ago? No. No, you wouldn't have. Think about how fast it's moving. Things like that. Anyway, things I think about. Anyway, again, share your thoughts. Let's be safe out there. God bless you, and I will see you soon.